Hello everyone, uh, my name is Eli Ganim and welcome to EG Geo Lapidary. Today I want to talk to you about fire scale and fire stain. We all have this problem, but I'm going to explain to you why it happens and how can we avoid it. Uh, so stick around, don't go away, and I will show you everything that you need to know. Okay, we're back. Um, now, the main reason for the fire scale or fire stain that we have um, is the oxygen in the air. Um, so, when we have, when we use a settling server and we heat it up, uh, whether we're annealing or we're uh, uh, soldering, the oxygen it gets in and mix with the copper and create that and we, we don't see it until the end where we start uh, polishing the piece that we have and all of a sudden you see these uh, 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 patches on the top and an ugly color and you, then you try to take it out now to take it out it's if, if you got them and you try to take them out the only way you can take it out is by uh, uh, sanding or uh, uh, repolishing again or uh, or filing actually uh, it, it, it takes a lot of work to do that especially if these patches or colors uh, they're deep down and I'll tell you why they are deep now the uh, when we anneal or solder the uh, the silver the silver itself uh, because it contain copper and when the oxygen and the copper get mixed up together, then that's what's happening. The, uh, for instance, the sterling silver is 925 uh, per thousand, part per thousand, it's th uh, silver. And 75, part, uh, 75 parts per thousand, it's copper. So this is where the problem is. When we start uh, annealing or, or heating the, or soldering, um, the oxygen get on the surface where the copper is and mixed with it and create a couple of things. One, it's called uh, copperous oxide, and which is a reddish color. And then the other one is copperic oxide, which is a black color. And that's what we see after uh, when, after we polish and, and we finish the part and all of a sudden you see all this coming up and you know uh, then you got to take it out but what we can do is create the barrier on the surface to eliminate the oxygen from going in and mixing with the copper so how can we do that and this is what I'm going to explain to you and one, one of the things is that I use most of the time is uh, the boric acid uh, and so I'm going to give you the the proportion of mix which I use uh, boric acid, uh, borax and uh, denatured alcohol. Now instead of the alcohol especially for you guys in California that you cannot even buy it there uh, you could use water instead which is it's a bit safer, but it will do the same thing. Uh, so let me show you how I mix everything together, and then uh, then I'm going to show you uh, the one that I'm going to do. I got a couple of pieces here that I'm going to show you how they work, and then I'm going to show you the other uh, things that I'm using or you can use also to eliminate this problem. And actually, what we're trying to do here is just Put a surface, a barrier between your oxygen and between the uh, piece of silver that you're working with. So let me show you the uh, the amount and, and the mixture that you're going to do and how you're going to do it. Okay, so let's say you're going to use a container. You could use a plastic container or um, something that's it's solid, which you could also see through with the lid that, if you, especially if you're going to use alcohol, uh, you need a good lid 
to be tight and uh, so the alcohol will not evaporate. So now, one side of your container, uh, find out exactly how much you want to do. You don't, you don't want to put too much, you know, because you could always make new ones. But let's say this is the total amount. On one side, divide it into two. So you get right in, at half point, just put a mark uh, on your uh, cup or, or your uh, uh, container. And on the other side, divide it into thirds. So you get one, two, three thirds. That makes the full one. So you have it up to here. Now, fill up with boric acid. You fill up the half of that container. So you get boric acid. And then the other third put borax in there. So now we're at this side. So we're putting borax here. The, the rest here till the end of the third one or you know the top that you want you put uh, denatured alcohol and then you mix it uh, as you mix it very well and then that's how it's going to work uh, the other thing you could do is that instead of the uh, the alcohol you add water same amount but you add water here and it will do the same uh, exactly the same work uh, that the alcohol will do um, so this is the amount, and the, then you gotta find out like between. There's a lot of people get mixed up between boric acid and borax. Well, boric acid is what gives you that surface barrier that uh, on 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 top of your piece that you're working on. The borax is basically um, it, it's a flux. So the borax acts as a flux um, to it. So that's the difference between the boric acid and the borax. Now let me show you uh, one piece that I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use. Now this is my boric acid uh, right here that I have. This is the container. Uh, it's glass. It's a baby food container, but the lid is very tight. So shake it pretty good, and I have this one here. And I'm going to just focus down here just to show you uh, what I'm doing. Okay, so I have a few pieces here that uh, I set for a pendant that I'm working on. And, um, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do uh, one piece here, a couple of pieces, just to show you. So, make sure that when, when you use it, because what I'm using here is alcohol. And if you're going to be using alcohol, make sure that... Uh, after you uh, dip your piece in, this is the base plate. So after you dip it in, okay, and make sure that it's all covered. And if I can take it out. Oops. Okay. It went in, but I can't get it up. Okay it comes up. So now just put it here and I'm going to show you look at the flame that's coming out here. See that flame? Get that green flame and orange flame and when it goes out that it burns the boric acid and it leaves that nice surface on the top uh, where you could actually uh, Make sure that, like, when you when you start working with it, uh, that will uh, it will not get the heat in with the copper and get this uh, uh, coloring that we don't need. Here's another one. I'm going to do the same thing. It's here and same thing. You can see the flame here. So this is as simple as that. Now when, when we uh, do the actual soldering, you still have to use flux. So this is already coated, both of them. So if I'm going to put it on top here and I'm going to solder, uh, I'm also going to put the, fl the flux in order to solder it. So the flux goes in afterwards. Okay, okay the, 
so now you've seen how simple it is. You know, once you get the mixture and you dip your parts right into that mixture and you just uh, uh, light it up. And the reason for lighting it up is um, it dries the surface uh, with the boric acid and that's where it's going to stay and prevent the oxygen from going in because the oxygen is, is the problem that we have. Um, some other people they will do, I didn't try it, but you could do that, is by having, if, if you're using your torch and you have oxygen and acetylene, for instance, uh, you put more gas out of your torch instead of uh, oxygen. And what happens is when the gas goes out, it needs oxygen. Now any, any fire will need oxygen to light. So, I mean, if, if you have, uh, um, let's say, as an example, if, if I have this one here and it caught fire by accident, all I have to do is take the lid and close it. By closing that, what happens is I cut the oxygen in the air from coming in and it will just shut it off. I mean, it will, it will go off. So without panicking and jumping all around, this is the way to do it. So basically what I'm trying to say is that oxygen or fire, they will need oxygen in order to burn. So we're trying to eliminate the amount of oxygen. So when you increase the gas that's coming out from your torch, now, <coughs> that gas in order to burn, it will need oxygen. So what is happening, it's taking the oxygen from the atmosphere around the area. So you're not getting the, ox the oxygen into the piece that you're working on, but it's absorbed by the fire itself. So it, it helps eliminating a little bit of, of the oxygen going in. But down here, like I said, I have the borax, which is this one here. And I also have the uh, boric acid, which is this. Now, like I said, boric acid is what actually um, coat the surface uh, from uh, the oxygen getting through it. So this is what coat the surface. The borax is basically like a flux. Now, this is, and then you add the uh, uh, the denatured alcohol, or you could add the uh, water. So water will do the same thing. Now the other thing that you could do without having this mixture, uh, you could buy these from from uh, Rio Grande. So this one here, it's called Stop Ox. It's right here. If you could see it. <coughs> Stop ox, and basically, the name says it all. It says like it stop the oxidization that's happening, uh, in the, while you're uh, heating the piece or annealing or doing the uh, uh, the soldering. Now, this here also is the flux. So if you see that, it's a flux. So you could have. <coughs> Both of them. One, it will stop the ox oxidization, and the other one, it will uh, ready flux you could use for fluxing. And since we're talking about flux, here's another thing I would like to show you. This one also is from Rio Grande, and it's it's called Handy Flux. So the Handy Flux also is pretty good to use. Now this one here it comes in a container, and it comes in as a paste. Now the problem with that, after a while, the paste will dry up, and you can see here it's all dried up. So, uh, but that's not a big problem. What you could do is if you can have a paintbrush with water, and you go in, you mix it with water, and you could use it as flux. So you use that as flux, and that's also is pretty good. The other thing that you could do, which is Again, this is this is borax, and this comes as a cone, and then you get the dish. The dish could be anything, but I bought it from the same place. So the dish is basically uh, it's not glazed, 
uh, and it's rough. So what happened is that when you rub the corn on the plate it, and add water in it, so you add water, not much, just a little bit of water, and then you just rub it in, and it's going to create a slurry uh, of borax. And again, you take the brush, take a little bit of the borax, and that's your flux, and you just put it on your piece, and that will work. This one here, <clears throat> it will cost, actually, I don't, I don't remember how much I paid for this one here, but the shipping is not, they're not expensive, but the shipping was more expensive than the actual piece. So what I did, and I think you could do the same thing, uh, is if, if you have a friend of yours uh, that you know, want to buy one so both of you could get together and the shipment will be the same. So you could split the cost of the shipment between the two of you and then it becomes actually cheap to use it. So this here, um, it, it's also good to work with and it's very handy and it's going to last for a long, long time. Actually this one here, uh, it will last you for, I would say at least five years. Easy. You know, and it depends how, I mean, if you use it every day, every day, uh, it will be uh, between uh, 40 years to 5 years. So, here you go. So, this is good to use also. But the main thing, the main idea for what we're doing here is to cover that surface, okay, um, while you're heating or soldering, you don't want the air or the oxygen get into your uh, your metal which is your uh, uh, silver and as I said your silver contain copper and the mixture between the oxygen and the copper is what gives you these uh, you know black stuff or the the surfaces that that actually doesn't look nice when you finish your work the other thing is, if, if this is happening, actually, the blotches or the color coloration, discoloration, is not just on the surface, but it's all the way deep in. And it depends how deep it is, that's how much you've got to grind or polish. And that's create another problem. So if you have fine details on your part, now you've got to take all that off, and that creates a problem. So the bet, your best bet is use the boric acid, the borax, or uh, get that ready flux with the stop ox, which is this one here, that actually will stop the oxidization from happening. <clears throat> Again, when, when you use this one here, uh, you put it on the surface, and then you heat your, uh, your piece of silver, uh, and then that will give you that barrier on the surface. Then you put your flux and you start working with that. So I hope that this will help you uh, eliminating this problem. Uh, and I hope that uh, the whether you're going to do it with the uh, uh, mixture of the borax and uh, uh, the boric acid. Uh, like I said, you could use water or you could use uh, alcohol. So both of them they will work and this way you will you will uh, deal with the fire scale and you will prevent it from happening. I hope you like this video and if you have any question please uh, just send me a note down at the bottom and uh, let me know. And if you like it just give it a thumbs up and uh, I hope you subscribe. Just down here you're going to see the picture of me with the motorcycle. Just click on it and subscribe in order to see all the uh, new videos that I'm going to be uploading. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.